and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 11 of Straight Fire Picks. We got it all laid out for you tonight. We got your favorite winners. We got your favorite losers. Something to that effect. We're going to rock it tonight. We're going to win tonight. We're going to go 5-0 and tonight. 5-0. It's going to happen. First, before we get into that, I want to talk about our results from last time. Last uh, last episode's results did not quite work the way we wanted it to, guys. One and four last episode. I'm going to break it down for you what happened here. Okay, so the first one we had, the Knicks money line versus the Hawks. Really thought the Knicks were going to win that game. Played uh, very well in the second and third quarters, and then the first and the fourth quarters. They just didn't start very good, and they didn't end very good. But the two middle quarters, they played great. The under, the under looked like it was also on track. The under did end up hitting in that game, which was another one of my picks. So in that game, um, I went one and one. That was my one win on the night was the under. Under 213 points, 213 and a half points in that game. So yeah, that was disappointing. Number two, I had the Washington Capitals money line versus the Bruins. I thought they'd be, you know, desperate back at home to get a win against the Bruins, extend the series. Did not happen. Went down uh, early and uh, really wasn't that close. So that series is now over. Capitals have been eliminated from the playoffs. And then we had the Edmonton Oilers money line minus 126. They were leading 4-1 to one in the third period and gave up three goals. Game went to overtime and they lost 5-4 to four in overtime. And then the only other pick I had was under 217.5 points in the Grizzlies Jazz game. Minus 112 odds. Game ended up being 112 to 109. The Grizz stunned the Jazz in the opener, um, which was impressive. I, one of my picks tonight, though, we got the Jazz tonight on the spread. And we'll get into that in a second. And then, obviously, number five was under 213.5 points in the next Hawks game, minus 110. That one did come in. So I went one and four. So that was, the, that was the last episode, and now we're going to get right into our new ones here. Let's take a look. So for tonight, Knicks are going to respond in game two, guys. It's going to happen. They're going to win. Minus 134 odds tonight on your New York Knicks at the Garden. Game two, Julius Randle's going to play much better today than he did in game one. He's going to score more than seven points. He might even put up a triple-double. I got Randall killing it tonight. It's a must-win for the Knicks. They got to get it done. They're going to get it done. It's going to be one-to-one. -one. Knicks money line versus the Hawks, guys. Minus 134. It's coming in hot tonight. Number two. I got the New York Islanders money line versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. Minus 110. Islanders coming back home after a stunning defeat in Game 5 to take a 3-2 series lead in Pittsburgh. They're coming back home to close this thing out, and I fully expect that they're going to do so. A lot of momentum, a lot, uh, lot to play for here, a lot of energy. I expect the Islanders to win this game for sure. Coming back to close this out at home, they can't blow this opportunity. They have the opportunity to close this series out, and I think they're going to. Minus 110 odds there on your Islanders at home. They get it done tonight as well. Another one, another team that's going to get it done, number three, number three pick. Tampa Bay Lightning money line versus the Florida Panthers. Minus 158, guys. Lightning in the same scenario here. They're coming back home to close the series out after winning game five on the road. I expect, uh, I definitely expect the Lightning will close this thing out. And they will win. Um... So yeah, minus 158 odds. I think the Lightning definitely get it done. Number four, I got the Utah Jazz minus nine spread versus the Grizzlies minus 110 odds. I'll tell you why. Donovan Mitchell's coming back, guys, for game two. He was unavailable in game one. He is coming back for game two. Expect him to provide a huge energy boost to this team. He's going to play well. The team is going to play much better, and they're going to blow the Grizzlies right off the floor like they should. They really are going to. I'd be surprised if the Jazz did just wipe the floor with the Grizzlies tonight. Especially, especially after they lost to Game 1. There's going to be a lot of motivation. And um, definitely expect Game 2 here for the Jazz. Minus 9 spread. Okay. 
Number five, we got the New York Yankees money line versus the Blue Jays coming in hot at minus 146. We got Domingo Herman on the mound, 4-2, 3.05 ERA versus Manoa making his first start for the Blue Jays. Very, their number five prospect for the Blue Jays. Pitched very well in spring training. Has pitched very well in AAA. He's a, a great young talent. I still expect Herman, the experience of the Yankees, to get it done. I think Manoa's going to give up a few runs. You know, playing in the big leagues is going to be easy. I don't expect him to just breeze in his first start. So, yeah, Herman getting it done tonight. Herman has been one of my favorite pitchers to bet on, by the way, so far this year. I think, I, I think three or four... Three or four of the bets I've taken on the Yankees have been with Herman on the mound, and he's pitched well every time. I expect that to continue tonight. Okay, guys, that is it for episode 11. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content today, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Always would appreciate that. Other than that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Y'all have a great night, day, evening, week, weekend, whatever you want to call it. Have a great day. We will catch you next time. Deuces.